here, here first, where Kimmy's world is your world. So let's get into it. So this story is about two sisters. One of them name is Granique Logan. And that's the beautiful girl right down here in the blue. And also Graquiria Logan, the girl off to right here. Graquiria Logan. Now, they both share the same mother. I'm not really for sure from doing my investigation if they share the same father. But as far as the photos that I have seen on Facebook, I don't know if they were close, but they did display a certain amount of love for one another on social media. Now, in 2019, both of these young ladies graduated from the same college. Now, I want to forewarn you, there is a trigger warning to this story. Before we get to the trigger warnings, I just want to go over the bond that these two had. In 2019, there was a post on Facebook that said, I'm my sister keeper. Yeah, it's legit, sir. We did that. So I, I don't know what that means. Y'all y'all probably can tell me. But anyway, that is the girl with the yellow pants right over there. Graquaria is right behind me. This is Graquaria. This is a photo of the two young ladies with their amazing, lovely mother. She seems like it, uh, she was proud. Both of them was very happy up until what just happened here recently. Here's another Facebook post of both of the sisters. Before we get into what happened, here's another Facebook post of both of the sisters. The girl right here that's holding the phone, that's Granique Logan. The girl right behind her is Graquaria. And they look fairly alike. Now, upon me doing research on Granique Logan, I found out she is, in fact, a rapper. And these two are from Montgomery, Alabama. Warning, some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. And I will say that the image may be a little disturbing. Yeah, hold on. Yo, TikTok. I need y'all help, man. For real, like, I got staples all in my face and shit. I need y'all to help me, bro. Like, can y'all support my GoFundMe account, man? I just want my face redid. Like, out of all people, my sister threw acid on me, y'all. Like, they they already had to cut off my cut off my tattoo on my arm and stuff. Like, my body's messed up, y'all. Like, so this is her sister, Graquaria Monifa Logan. She was arrested in Montgomery County, Alabama on March the 12th. Now the charges were assault first degree. So this incident between the two sisters occurred on March the 11th. Where exactly it took place is really unknown right now. The reason why it took place is unknown to me. Now, I know I was reading because Neighborhood Talk, I believe, broke this story. And they said, and there were people in the comment area saying that she took her man or slept with her man. That's an incorrect statement. From the research that I have put together, Graquaria's baby father passed away on last year. I'm not for sure about the exact month, but he passed away. She has been grieving him as well as grieving her uncle. Now, she did say that in the midst of grieving for her uncle, she was on drugs. Now, I don't know if she was on drugs during this particular time, and maybe that was the reason why she threw acid on her sister's face. But whatever the case may be, they got into it, and Graquaria threw acid on Granique Logan's face. Now, Granique is 23 years old. Graquaria is 25. Now, she made a post this morning. She said, God, I get down on my knees and ask you to give me strength as I go in this surgery room and to come back out with open eyes. I got to get back to my son. Send one up for me. She also has a GoFundMe, um, a GoFundMe available. What I have deciphered is she is in Atlanta right now at the burn center and she is seeking she is getting treatment for these burns. Now she's already had one surgery. She has six more surgeries to go to correct this issue, this burn, this acid burn that's on her face. 
So this is what our face looks like um, from the first surgery. Um, Y'all, when I tell you, my heart goes out to her because no matter what you go through with your family, your siblings, or anyone, it doesn't warrant this type of response. It does not. Like, that's just pure evil. And for them to be sisters that make it even worse, um, to me, from the videos that I've seen, she is hurting and she needs the support from each and every one of us. She did not reach out to me. I actually saw the video and I started to research it on my own, but she needs our help because Medicaid is not paying for everything for this surgery. I'm not for sure why it's not paying, but it's not paying. Now, like I said, she's from Montgomery, Alabama, and she is at the burn center in Atlanta. So she is asking for support to help with that. I will tag or uh, put in the comment area, the GoFundMe information. There have been people that have been donating and I will also tag her in this video as well. Now, like I said, she is a rapper and this is a photo. This is a photo I got from the video that she's done. Y'all, when I tell you sis got some real talent, she reminds you of Glow from Memphis, Tennessee. Glorilla. Like, she got some skills. And what I will say is she does have a YouTube channel as well. So if you could go and subscribe to her YouTube channel, um, send her well wishes, you know, God chose her to go through this for a reason. And I truly believe after all of this is said and done, she is going to come back stronger and better than ever. Beautiful, beautiful girl. Um, like I said, keep her family in your prayers because I can only imagine what her mother is going through. Um, both of her daughters were in this incident. One of them got severely burned from acid and now the other one is facing some serious, serious charges. So um, keep this family in your prayers. Both of them had children and so the mother has to step in, which is... I don't know this to be true. I'm just assuming right now. This is my opinion. I believe the mother has to step in to take care of her grandchildren. So, uh, like I said, keep this family in your prayers. Keep Granique Logan in your prayers. She has six more surgeries. Let's continue to pray that she will be mentally strong and that she will go through these surgeries and come out victorious once all this is done and once all this has healed up on her. Stay tuned to Kimmy's World for this and other news.